Companies that pay monthly dividends are in high demand because many people like to receive monthly, not quarterly passive income. Today, I'm going to go over five monthly dividend stocks that I own that are up average of 32.7% year to date and pay out a 5.8% in annualized dividends on a monthly basis. This compared with SPY, an ETF of the S&P 500 index fund, which is up 17.2% year to date and pays out a measly 1.3% annualized dividend on a quarterly basis. My first pick is Main Street Capital Corp, an asset management company that is up 32.5% year to date and has an annual dividend yield of 5.9%. Main Street Capital provides debt and equity capital to small and middle market companies and has a market cap of $2.8 billion, which makes it one of the larger asset management companies that pay monthly dividends. Main Street has a track record of paying monthly dividends and has been holding steady or increasing its monthly dividends since at least 2013. My second pick is Realty Income Corp and Real Estate Investment Trust or REIT that focuses on commercial real estate. Realty Income is one of the largest and most well-known REITs that pay monthly dividends and is up 17.7% year to date and has an annual dividend yield of 4%. Realty Income counts several Fortune 500 companies as its tenants, which according to this list obtained from the company's website includes Walgreens, 7-Eleven, FedEx, Dollar Tree, LA Fitness, Walmart, CVS, Home Depot, and Kroger to name a few. Even more impressive is Realty Income's consistency in paying monthly dividends to its investors, which includes over 600 consecutive monthly payments. My third pick is Pambina Pipeline Corporation, a Canadian oil and gas company that owns pipelines that transport hydrocarbon liquids and natural gas products produced in Canada, as well as gas gathering and processing facilities and oil and natural gas liquids infrastructure and logistic businesses. Pambina is up 31% year to date and has an annual dividend yield of 6%. One reason I hold Pambina is because it is one of the few non-REITs or business development companies or BDCs that pays a monthly dividends. So owning Pambina diversifies my monthly dividend portfolio. Further, Pambina has a track record of consistently paying monthly dividends that continued through last year and this year despite the damage COVID did to the oil and gas industry. My fourth pick is Prospect Capital Corporation an asset management company that is up 49.7% year-to-date and has an annual dividend yield of 8.7%. Prospect Capital provides debt and equity capital to middle market companies and has a market cap of $3.2 billion, which makes it another one of the few asset management companies with a market cap north of $1 billion and pays monthly dividends. Prospect Capital has a track record of paying monthly dividends and has been holding steady its monthly dividends since September 2017. Finally, my fifth pick is Stack Industrial Incorporated, a REIT that focuses on industrial real estate. Stack Industrial, another large REIT that pays monthly dividends, is up 32.3% year-to-date and has an annual dividend yield of 3.6%. Fortune 500 companies that are tenants of Stack Industrial include Amazon and FedEx. Further, according to Stack Industrial's 2021 investor presentation, 86% of its tenants have revenues greater than $100 million a year and 61% of its tenants have revenues greater than $1 billion a year. Moreover, in Q1 of 2021, Stag Industrial acquired 1.3 million square feet of real estate to extend its real estate footprint. Stag Industrial has consistently held steady or increased its monthly dividends since at least 2013. Although receiving monthly dividends that can be, in many cases, automatically reinvested to earn monthly compounding interest sounds fantastic, there are some drawbacks to monthly dividend stocks. First, most monthly dividend stocks are REITs or BDCs, such as the asset management companies that I mentioned earlier. So a portfolio that makes up of mostly monthly dividend stocks lacks portfolio diversity. A second issue is that most, if not all of the dividends are classified as ordinary dividends and not qualified dividends. Further, 
companies that provide monthly dividends typically have small market cap and many of these monthly dividend paying companies have market caps of 500 million or less which all else being eco causes the stocks of these companies to be less liquid and more volatile than their large cap counterparts nonetheless there is still a place for monthly dividend stocks in my portfolio those of you who have seen my other videos on dividend stocks know that I have a portfolio of 12 large cap stocks in 11 industries that are also beating out market gains while paying me $10,000 of passive income. I've included a link to my video where I go over my quarterly dividend paying stocks. So feel free to click on the link if you wish to find out which stocks I'm holding. By including these quarterly dividend paying large cap stocks, I have significantly increased the diversity of my portfolio, thereby reducing the risk associated with a particular monthly dividend stock. I was also very meticulous during the selection process of the monthly dividend stocks. So instead of focusing on the highest yield, which unfortunately are sometimes offered by companies with poor track records, I focused on business track records of the companies, their relationship with their clients, their dividend payout track records, and their market cap. In fact, one of my parameters for picking stocks is I only consider companies with market caps of at least $1 billion to avoid picking illiquid stocks. And finally, I picked five monthly dividend stocks in four different industries and spread my funds evenly among the five companies to diversify within my monthly dividend stock portfolio. Please let me know in the comments below your thoughts on monthly dividend stocks and which ones you hold in your portfolio. As always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and check out my other videos on dividend, stock, option, and futures trading.